Conquering Coordinating Conjunctions. Spot the linkers. Hello, English language learners. Welcome back to another exciting session. Today, we're diving into the world of coordinating conjunctions. But more specifically, we're going to focus on how to identify coordinating conjunctions in texts. Remember, these are crucial for developing your ability to construct and understand complex English sentences. Before we delve into identifying these linkers in text, let's refresh our understanding of what they are. Coordinating conjunctions are words that we use to connect words, phrases, or clauses of equal importance. You might remember the acronym FANBOYS to help remember them. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Coordinating conjunctions play a significant role in English. They give us the flexibility to link ideas and expand on thoughts without starting a new sentence. This allows for more fluent and expressive communication. So, understanding where and how they are used in texts is vital to mastering English grammar and improving reading comprehension. Now, let's dive into the heart of our topic identifying these linkers in texts. You're likely to find coordinating conjunctions wherever there is a need to connect words, phrases, or clauses. The first step in identifying them is to look for the fanboys in the text. They may appear between two independent clauses, between words in a list, or between equivalent phrases. For example, in the sentence, I wanted to go to the park, but it started to rain, but, is the coordinating conjunction that connects two independent clauses. To consolidate your learning, let's do a short exercise. Consider this sentence. She loves reading books, and she often goes to the library. Can you identify the coordinating conjunction? Yes, it's, and. Try this one. I don't like broccoli, nor do I like spinach. In this case, nor is the coordinating conjunction. That's all for today's session on identifying coordinating conjunctions in texts. Remember, the key is to look for fanboys and understand how they're linking words, phrases, or clauses. With a bit of practice, you'll soon find these conjunctions leaping out at you from the page. Happy learning! And see you in our next video where we'll explore even more about the fascinating world of English grammar.